So when it comes to projection setups in Pixabay, you can utilize a feature called feed modes. Feed modes can be utilized in what we like to call 2D projection. So you can basically use this feature for flat and curved screens. It cannot be used for 3D objects. So I've prepared a simple screen here, a 16 by 10 screen, and I will now apply my projector to the screen. And uh, let's quickly activate the test pattern. And as you can see right now, uh, we see the frustrum and once I shift my projector out of the screen, uh, as you can see in the warping tab, the part of the screen or only the part of the screen is being shown which the projector is actually able to capture. There is a default you can set up. So in the new Epic Zero versions, from, uh, starting from 1.6, the initial values they're set up to hit down here, projectors, feed rec uh, rectangle alignment to none. That's why they, they are not applied in the first place here. Now, in a case like this, a lot of times, all you want to do is just get the um, output uh, image then pixel perfect. So a lot of times you don't want to be bothered with the physical alignment of, my, of the screen. And um, to make life easier, what you can do now is you can actually activate those feed areas. So down here, if you scroll down in the inspector, you can find the feed areas tab with the alignment. And by default, it is set to none. In total, we have got four different presets here for the feed modes. The fifth mode, none, is without. There is fit, stretch, pixel accurate and perspective. It's basically similar to what you may already know from the layer. So when putting content into a layer, we also got fill, fit, stretch, resource resolution and similar to fitting content into the correct aspect ratio of our screen, we can do the same with the mapping on our on our outputs. So let's start by selecting uh, fit in here. In our case, we get a 16 by 10 screen and a 16 by 10 projectors. So the eye aspect ratios, they match. So basically fit, stretch, pixel accurate, they will all be the same. So, um, as you can see now, the visual representation, it did actually change. So um, let's quickly get back to none. Here we can see the first drum looks different to when feed modes are applied. So we got this line now pointing at the screen, telling us where the projector feed is coming from. Now, as I move my projector out, as you can see, this line, it stays at the screen. So the placement of my projector is not all too important anymore. Only if we get too far away, there we go, uh, feed modes can't be applied because we are now actually not hitting the screen anymore. So as soon as we get back into the screen, we are hitting it and we are getting the feed back to our outputs. Good, so for this example, I did change the scenery slightly. I have changed my screen to a full HD screen with 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And in the mapping tab, I used the new projector. I used the Panasonic RQ35 with 340 by 2400 pixels, so different aspect ratio, 16 by 10. And I repositioned the projector slightly to shoot from an angle from the top. Good, now let's get back into our feed areas and let's start changing the settings. Now let's bring this over here a little bit. Let's make this bigger, there we go. Good, so none is none, so no feed modes are applied. Let's get back to fit. And as you can see, similar to how content is being fitted into our screen, we can now fit 
the mesh of the screen into the first room of our projector. So we got our projector's output here, and that's the mesh of the screen in the middle. Now let's take a look at stretch. Again, similar to the content world, we do now stretch the uh, the mesh of the screen to our first room of the uh, to the projector's first room. And now let's take a look at pixel accurate, and all of a sudden. Uh, we now have the mesh placed on the left top corner and it's a lot smaller. The reason for that is, um, of course, when placing stuff in the pixel world, we always start at 0, zero which is the left top corner. And our projector, if we remember, we actually have 3840 by 2400 pixels and our screen resolution is only full HD. And that's what we can see right here. So we get the 3840 by 2400 and the full HD screen matched right here on the top left corner. And again, the wizard rep representation, same. Now we get the blue line here targeting the screen. Last but not least, there is the perspective mode, which will do a pre-warp and apply perspective distortion, so to speak. If you're used to all the Pixera versions, in all the versions we only had two modes and the two modes would represent none and perspective. So we basically added three new modes which should help you aligning your screens. Last but not least, let's take a look at a multi-projector setup. I have changed my screen to a 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1200 screen, which is a perfect uh, um, two projector setup with 20% overlap. And I've kept my RQ35 with 340 by 2400 pixels. So the aspect ratios, they will match, but the resolution not so much. Now, when it comes to multi-projector setups, you may have already seen, there is this overlap in pixels, the horizontal and vertical. And this is basically being put in automatically when using the auto transform editor. So if I go in here and now do an auto transform and if I do align my projectors, let's go to preview, let's change the number of project uh, projectors and as you can see here, the used overlap, it will basically change depending on the setting which is set up here in the auto transform. So let's go for 20%. Now we get the 768 pixels overlap, which is perfect. Hit apply and now I've got my correct overlap. Now let's select both and let's now change back to the um, to the different feed modes. So you can see fit, stretch, stretch, pixel accurate as we got a 4K projector with a full HD screen again, it looks something like this. And if we go perspective, same as with the um, setup with a single projector, it will do a pre, a pre apply pre, um, a perspective distortion within your setup. By the way, if you're going to do a back projection, for example, here in output orientation, you can change from front projection to rear projection to seal mount front and seal mount rear, which will flip according to the setup, the mesh on your output. So you do have correct warping orientation on your setup.